Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from what we have here. And what is given, which is 5 raised to power x equals to 30 here. We can take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 5 raised to power x equals to log 30 on this side. Then from the power log of logarithm, when we have log m raised to the power p, which is equal to p log m, then what we have here becomes x log 5 equals to log 30 on this side. The next step here, we divide both side by log 5. So we divide this side by log 5. And also divide this side by log 5. That is, log 5 cancel each other here. We are left with x, which is equal to log 30 over log 5. The next step from here, we can write 30 as 5 and 6. Then what we have becomes x equals to log into bracket 5 times 6 over log 5 then from here when we apply the log logarithm from log a times b which can be written as log a plus log b then here this gives us x equals to log 5 plus log 6 over log 5 then also here we can separate this fraction into two fractions and we have x equals to log 5 over log 5 then plus log 6 over log 5 which implies that here log 5 cancel each other, we have 1, then this becomes x equals to 1 plus log 6 over log 5. Then next step from here, we can simplify by writing 6 as 2 times 3. That is what we have here becomes x equals to 1 plus log into bracket 2 times 3 then over log 5. Then also applying the law of logarithm, what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 3 then over log 5 from here. That this, we also separate this fraction into two fractions and we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 5 here then plus log 3 over log 5. Then from what we have here Applying the change of phase, when we have log A over log B, here this can be written as log A to base B. That is what we have here becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 to base 5, then plus log 3 to base 5. So here we have the value of x in this given problem as x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. Then let's check if this will satisfy the given problem. From what we have here, we substitute the value of x, which is x equals to 1 plus log 2 
this one plus log 3 to this 5. Then what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 1 plus log 2 to this 5 plus log 3 to this 5 is equal to 30 from here. That is here we apply the law of indices. From when we have a raised to power m plus n, which is equal to a raised to power m times a raised to power n, what we what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power log 2 to this 5, then times 5 raised to power log 3 to this 5 is equal to 30 on this side. Then here, 5 raised to power 1, that's still 5. Then times, this follows from when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equal to b. Now this here, this same thing as 2, then times, this same thing as 3, and is equal to 30 from here. And of course, we have 5 times 2 here, that's 10. 10 times 3, that's 30, which is equal to 30 on this side. Now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then from here, we conclude that x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video and give it a thumbs up. See you in the next class and bye. For now.